Well, it's okay if I get a quick listen to your heart and lungs here. Gary Graham is breathing easier these days. An abnormal heart rhythm called atrial fibrillation kept sending him to the emergency room time and time again. I was real dizzy. Couldn't catch my breath. I was just about passing out. And then the fourth time, they had to shock me. I thought I was on my deathbed there at the last one. <laughs> Gary ended up in the electrophysiology lab at Northeast Baptist Hospital, where Dr. Stephen May performed a procedure to correct his problem. Dr. May is using a technique new to San Antonio, a technique that does not require the use of x-ray. I think we really are pushing the limits and are on the cutting edge at this point. There are very few people across the country doing it this way, but I do think that it is the way of the future. Normally, electrophysiologists have to use moving x-ray called fluoroscopy to guide their way during a cardiac ablation, a heating of the tissue to correct AFib. Dr. May uses a combination of technology and skill to find a way around that. First, 3D mapping that uses GPS-type sensors and magnets combined with computer software provides a roadmap of sorts. Then, intracardiac ultrasound provides real-time visualization of the catheters and the cardiac structures. An electrode at the tip of a wire sends out radio waves that create heat. The heat destroys the heart tissue, causing the atrial fibrillation. All right, he's back in sinus rhythm. While the risk of radiation from any single procedure is low, limiting or eliminating exposure whenever possible is worthwhile. It cuts down on the cumulative risk over a lifetime. It takes a little bit longer, but in the end, I've found that it actually makes the procedure much more precise, safer, and more effective. Not just from a radiation reduction standpoint, but because of the precision and the control of the procedure. Edward Clark had his ablation without radiation, and the results so far are very good. Looks good, normal rhythm. As someone who has already had lots of tests that exposed him to radiation, he was grateful for this new technique. Radiation can't be good, and so it's better to not have it. So that seemed the appropriate thing to do as long as uh, he could do it. Everyone is excited about it, and I really think that once more people feel comfortable with the technology, everyone will be doing it this way. Progressive approaches to health care that help patients and protect them. That's the difference. That's Baptist Care. For more information, log on to BaptistHearts.com or call 210-297-7005. For the Baptist Health News Network, I'm Wendy Rigby.